everyone, you're just in time. I've been working on some new experiments and I'm so excited to show you my latest one. I can make this ordinary magnet float in the air. Thanks, Squeaks. I'm excited too. Let's get started. All right, first we take this marker and we stick it to the table. I'm using some modeling clay to make it stick. Next, I take one magnet ring and slide it down to the bottom of the marker. Now, very carefully, I take the next magnet ring and lower it down the marker until, presto, a floating magnet. <laughs> Squeaks, it's not exactly a magic trick. It's more like a magnet trick because magnets can do all sorts of amazing things. Magnets are special objects made with metals. I bet you have some in your classroom or your home, like maybe stuck to a refrigerator or whiteboard or in a toy. And the important thing about magnets is they can make forces. A force is a push or a pull, and magnets can push or pull on things made with many kinds of metal, like paper clips or nails. That's why you sometimes see magnets stuck to refrigerators. They can pull so hard on the metal inside the refrigerator that they'll stick to it. We call things magnets pull on, like refrigerators, magnetic. And get this, magnets don't even need to be touching something to push or pull on it. That's one of the things that makes magnets so cool. I agree, magnets are really fun to play with. Now testing to see if different things are magnetic can be fun by itself, but really interesting things happen when you put two magnets together. Check this out, sometimes the magnets pull on each other so they stick together really hard. But now look what happens when I flip this magnet over. <laughs> I can't push them together. <laughs> it's just like my floating magnet experiment. The two magnets won't touch. It almost feels like they're pushing against each other. Oh, good question, Squeaks. Why does this happen? Well, magnets have two sides. We call them the North Pole and the South Pole. Exactly, Squeaks. It's a lot like the North and South Pole that you see on a map of the Earth. In fact, Earth is a giant magnet, but that's a different story, one we'll talk about soon. When I hold the North Pole of one magnet and the South Pole of another magnet near each other, each magnet makes a really strong force and the two pull together. We say that they attract each other. They actually pull on each other pretty hard, so I'm being careful that they don't pinch my fingers. Now, when I hold two north poles together, the opposite happens. The magnets push against each other and won't stick. In other words, we say that the magnets repel each other. So different poles attract each other and same poles repel each other. Hey, maybe that's why they say opposites attract. <laughs> oh, you've got it, Squeaks. In my experiment, the two magnets on the marker are repelling each other. This one has the North Pole facing up, and this one has the North Pole facing down, so the two push against each other. Right now, the side on the top is a South Pole, so if I want to add another floating magnet ring, which side should I put facing the other magnets, North or South? South Pole? Let's try it. You were right! Nice work, buddy! The matching sides are facing each other, so the magnets repel each other and float. You can use magnets to do all kinds of fun experiments. You could try this floating magnet ring experiment at home or try something new. Maybe you could try attracting magnets to hold together sheets in a blanket fort, or you could try to balance things on repelling magnets. Ah, Squeaks, that's a fun idea. We could use magnets to put some art up on the fridge. We could start our own magnet art gallery. Let us know what you do with magnets. If you want to send us a message, you can ask a grown-up to help you email us at kids at scishow.com. And if you want to explore more science with Squeaks and me, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time here at the fort.